the year is 1917. The United States is entering the Great War on behalf of the Allies. They are coming to aid the French on their fight against the Germans. The French have made a huge breakthrough in munitions with the La Bon, La Mademoiselle, Sosson Kanze, a 75 millimeter artillery cannon that just sprays the entire battlefield, cutting anyone down in sight. Now that renders the howitzer essentially completely useless because that one goes <whistles> and the 75 does this. <sighs> Military enthusiasts, don't you dare at me because munitions aren't my thing, but you get the picture. In the United States, they're saying, buy your Liberty Bonds, put your silver into bullets. Join the army. Uncle Sam wants you to join the U.S. Army. Join the Navy. Build some ships. Do some things. Meanwhile, over in Europe, that's 75. It's packing quite a wallop, which is the same thing as this cocktail's gonna do. Well, long story short, what ended up happening was trench warfare started because the Germans said, well, if we're out there, I don't know, maybe it's more, we're out there. And... If this gun is going to mow us down, then we're going to dig a hole and we're going to fight from there. And then the howitzer will work again because then it goes <whistles> instead of brrr. And so that changed the war and that's why the foxholes got started and that's how trench warfare became a thing. But anyways, let's stop there because war is depressing and we need to drink. So let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take gin Oh, I love my gin. You know, I'm a gin fanatic, but I am bourbon loyalist. But right now, I want to get a little fanatical. So let's do a one and a half ounces of gin. Again, this is not Rangpur. This is regular Tanqueray because my regular Tanqueray bottle is a bit unwieldy. It has a handle, but still a little unwieldy. So I use this small one. Rangpur is a great gin, though. It has a little orangey taste to it, and it is a South Asian type of orange. It is delightful. Anyhow, 1.5 ounces. You didn't come here for me to go on and on and on about some sort of fruit. You wanted to come here to get a cocktail, so let's do one and a half ounces of gin because we all need a nightcap. One and a half ounces. You silver for bullets, silver for bullets. Buy a Liberty Bonds today. And because once again, you know, we're all, we're stuck inside. It's pollen is terrible. There's this virus thing going around. So we need a little bit of vitamin C to boost our immunity. So we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. And we're gonna make it a little sweeter, sweeten the deal a little bit with some, a simple syrup. And this is simple syrup, one to one, sugar to water, because what is sweet? Champagne is sweet, sparkling wine is sweet, and we don't wanna make it too sweet. So we're gonna do a half an ounce, because also when you do something with champagne, you don't want to change uh, too much that, that beautiful bubbly viscosity. Well, I guess it's a lack of viscosity, isn't it? Because it's smooth. And so a rich, simple syrup, remember, remember from our bourbon, our bourbon drinks with the old fashioned or the, or the Sazerac or some of those others. You want a rich syrup to make sure that that nice viscousness is in that drink. So we're gonna do a half an ounce of this simple syrup, one to one sugar water. Then we're gonna do a little ice into right into our shaker. Right into our shaker. I think that's how people uh, during World War One, really in the in the early uh, 1900s, just kind of did everything. They just sang everything in this continental accent. <laughs> Putting the howitzer out of business. You can see I'm wearing yoga pants. Business on top, party on the bottom. Lululemon is not a sponsor of this. Somebody told me today that apparently at uh, Walmart, they have seen uh, sales.
Amazon shirts go up quite a bit, like dress shirts, like men's dress shirts and ties go up, but sales in pants have gone down. Listen, if nothing comes of all of this, it's, it's the utter rebellion against pants. I hate pants, unless they are in, 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 in yoga form. That's the correct type of pants. Or pant, if you're watching that show about what not to wear. They always say, do a good pant. I feel like if you say a pant, it's gonna have a lot of pleats, it's going to be dry clean only, and it's gonna be very uncomfortable, and you can't eat too much in it because it's just, you're gonna to wanna to just unbutton that, so. That's why yoga pants are the best. So, we are ready to build our cocktail. So we're going to double strain this. I'm gonna double strain it because it's got lemon juice in it, and lemons have lots of little bits of pulps in it. If you wanna leave the pulp in, just strain it once, that's totally fine. I'm just going for a beautiful, clear, I don't know what that was. I wish I could have made something like appear or like reappear. If anyone's good at editing, which I'm not, like maybe we could do this and it'd be like, whew, cocktails already in there. Wow. So strain into a champagne glass, champagne. Welcome to the Continental. Would you like some champagne? Oh, no, no. Just for walking, anybody? Anyhow, see, look how beautiful that is. Ah, oh, lovely. So traditionally, this drink is made with champagne. A veuve clicquot is what I have in my fridge. However, I'm cheap. So, I'm going to put kava in it because this is $7 a bottle and that is not. So, we're going to go with the $7 a bottle option. Now, if you have champagne that is cheaper or more expensive or the same price as both, like, I don't care. You can use that in here. It's going to be a lovely cocktail. Now, champagne is going to yield a little bit more of a richness and a butteriness because it's all, it's, it's, it's Chardonnay. Uh, champagne is Chardonnay grapes. Now, Kava, on the other hand, is gonna be drier and crisper. So I personally like that because it's like a bright lemonade drink of gin and loveliness. So I am gonna be using Segura Viudas Cava. Segura Viudas, also not a sponsor of this program, but quite delicious. So we then fill to the top without spilling is the goal. So you gotta let the bubbles kind of settle at first. So kind of let them settle as you go because otherwise it will go everywhere. It's like I'm speaking from experience or something. Ha <laughs> ha, never, never would I spill champagne or anything else. And then we are going to top with a little curly Q. Look how precious this is, little curly Q. I think that I got that accent because uh, curly cue reminds me of a pigtail. And uh, anytime I think of pigs, I think of a uh, babe. And, and so it's like, Farmer Hoggett, if I had words to make a day for you, I'd make you a French 75 or two. Cheers to you all.